On September 22, 2017, State Superintendent Tom Torlakson gathered together education leaders, elected officials, and advocates for a one-day summit at the California Department of Education called Beyond Safe Havens. The reason for the summit was to address the roles of schools as safe havens for undocumented students and their families. We're here to fight against the fear that's been instilled by the new deportation rules and immigration enforcement, by the travel ban. Uh, there has been so much hateful and negative energy coming out from Washington, D.C., from the White House, uh, that we need to combat it right here at the grassroots, right at the ground level, right here where we connect to all the 10,000 schools in California, where we connect students to a brighter future so that they can learn, gain self-confidence, not live in fear. Fatima is a student who, on the way to school, to be dropped off by her dad at school, uh, saw ICE agents, immigrant agents, come up, handcuff her father, and take him away. And this is traumatic. This is terrible. But I so respect her bravery in standing up to tell the story of what she felt. And it, it was one that brought tears to the eyes of everybody who was here today, just to look at the pain she suffered as she saw her father taken away. The Safe Haven initiative that we have done has created a, an initiative where we have about two and a half million students protected in schools that are saying, we will not share your personal information. We will protect your parents. We have 1,100 school districts. Um, over 100 have already uh, declared safe haven status for their parents and for their students. But we want the rest. I strongly urge all the remaining districts who haven't taken action yet to please step up, to please step up for our kids, for their future. We stand united together. We are going to make an impact. We will turn around fear into positive energy.